Exploring the Roar. Understanding the Sound of Thunder. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the beautiful world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a fascinating phrase, the sound of thunder. This expression is not only vivid in imagery but also rich in meaning and usage. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, understanding such phrases can add depth to your English communication skills. So, let's unravel the mystery behind the sound that echoes the power of nature. Firstly, let's talk about what thunder is. Thunder is the loud rumbling or crashing noise heard after a lightning strike. This sound is produced by the rapid expansion of the air surrounding the path of the lightning bolt. When we say, the sound of thunder, we are referring to this powerful, natural sound that can range from a distant, low rumble to a close, deafening crack. It's a sound that's often associated with storms and can evoke a range of emotions from awe to fear. Moving beyond its literal meaning, the sound of thunder is also used figuratively in the English language. It can symbolize something powerful, inevitable, or a harbinger of change. For instance, in literature or speech, referring to the sound of thunder might suggest the approach of something significant or the onset of a major event. It's a way to add dramatic effect or emphasize the impact of what's coming. The sound of thunder is not just a phrase, it's also a title that has been used in various forms of popular culture, including literature and movies. Most notably, it's the title of a short story by Ray Bradbury, which explores themes of time travel and the consequences of altering the past. This story popularized the concept of the butterfly effect. In this context, the sound of thunder symbolizes the profound impacts of seemingly small actions. It shows how the phrase can evoke imagery and ideas that transcend its literal meaning. For English language learners, incorporating phrases like the sound of thunder into your vocabulary can make your speech and writing more vivid and expressive. Here are a few tips. Use it to describe emotions or situations that are intense or powerful. Pair it with creative storytelling to enhance the drama or significance of your narrative. Remember, it's a metaphorical phrase, so be mindful of the context in which you use it to ensure it fits the message you're trying to convey. We hope this journey through the stormy skies of the English language has been enlightening. The sound of thunder is more than just a phrase, it's a testament to the language's ability to capture the essence of our experiences and emotions. Whether you're writing a story, making a speech, or simply aiming to enrich your English, remember the power of such vivid expressions. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to exploring more fascinating aspects of the English language with you. Stay tuned, and happy learning!